Several students have been told they will not walk at their graduation tonight after some contracted the virus during a Myrtle Beach trip. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Kahn is live at Laidley Field tonight where St. Albans High School will have their ceremony in just a couple of hours, Anthony. Well, yeah, the chairs here at Laidley Field are empty right now ahead of St. Albans High School's graduation ceremony later tonight, but some of them will stay empty as several students will not be allowed to attend due to COVID-19 concerns. St. Albans class valedictorian Connor Mann had his commencement speech ready. I've been working on this speech for months. But he won't be able to give it or even attend. He's one of several Red Dragons that, due to COVID-19, will have to sit their graduation out. A group of students recently got back from Myrtle Beach. Before we left for the beach, that is, we'd been told that there will be no graduation. It's just going to be a virtual graduation. During the middle of the week, they told us that there will be a live vet graduation. Um, we're there all week. We did not come into contact with anybody who had has tested positive, and none of us have tested positive. For school officials, it's all about preventing further spread of the coronavirus. Principal Jeffrey Kelly says it's due to the recent uptick in cases. I fully understand kids uh, being upset and parents being upset, um, but we're also trying to be safe. Those not allowed at graduation are those who have either tested positive, were around someone who did test positive within the last 14 days, or had been to Myrtle Beach in the last 14 days. Students who qualified were asked to leave Wednesday's rehearsal. I am upset. I mean, I, I've been with these kids for four years, and uh, my goal is always to hand them their diploma. Parents are pushing for an alternative, but for many students, the damage has been done. I think they've kind of taken away the, uh, the special things about it, but um, yeah, it's kind of heartbreaking. And Principal Kelly said that he will be talking with health officials about some possible alternatives, but right now there's no guarantee that anything will change for tonight's ceremony. That starts here at Laidley Field at 730. Live in Kanawha County, Anthony Kahn, Eyewitness News. West Virginia student athletes were holding a rally at the state capitol today in response to Governor Jim Justice pushing back the start of their winter sports seasons. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Kahn was there. High school athletes speaking out against Governor Jim Justice, delaying their seasons until at least March 1st. The fact that I won't get the chance to go to states or, I mean, I've even thought about college basketball, so not having season would really mess me up. They were originally supposed to start January 11th, but COVID-19 caused the state to call a timeout. They're young, healthy kids. Their risk for getting something significant from Corona is extremely low. Athletes say they feel they're being singled out and punished. The bars are open, the restaurants are open, the Green Briar is open, and they can have parties at the Green Briar. It might not be his party, but it's his business's party. And I think that inflamed a lot of people. Justice getting an earful on his way into the state capitol before the press briefing Friday. What these people, coaches or whomever it may be, are pushing these kids to do is these kids are out here and they're all yelling and everything. They're not pushing us. We want to do it. A lot of them don't have masks on. All of us have our masks We all on. have masks on. Justice not budging, saying the safety risk is just too high. In this situation, they can yell all they want. They can yell and bark at the moon all they want. But I am telling you, without any question, we're doing the right thing here. I think if we can be in school, we should be able to play sports too. In Charleston, Anthony Kahn, Eyewitness News.